return of the van build. Join us on this week when we tackle the electrics. Or if any metal off the van touches that, it will spark. Mick makes his own words up. The Oxford Dictionary. I, of course, enjoy a liquid lunch. We discuss Mick's pile called Craig to his mate who's also called Craig. And I've got to go to the Aussie on Wednesday over Craig. <laughs> oh, you're fired? Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be one of our vlogs as well if something didn't go wrong. So join us when Mick sets the van on fire. Thank you so much for watching our videos so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe so you don't miss another episode. And you have to press that bell as well. That bell ends. So you don't miss an episode. Day people, we're taking the electrics on. Well, we're getting supervised because we don't know what we're doing. So we arrived at our friend's creek. <laughs> so what's happening here, Dad? Um, the Oxford Dictionary. Your van's running, yeah. They're live, mate. There's nothing can come off them, right? Nothing's coming off them at all. Yeah. But if you touch a piece of metal from that to that, or if any metal off the van touches that, it will spark. That way I always but spark But you, you can't physically hurt yourself. By touching them. Yeah, by touching that. So just stick that out there. Batteries You're just used to blowing us up all the time, aren't you? Yeah, but a proper gold. Oh, that's why we. That's why we need help. I just wanted to see the shock of it. What we're going to do, Miss, is you see that there? Yeah, we're turning it off. See that what you're doing now? Yeah. When I do that, it sparks everywhere. Yeah, if you if you touch. That metal there touches that, you will get a spark. Just don't, you can't let it touch anything. That's why all your tools will always have a rubber handle. Yeah, haven't you got a thing here? Neat. Can I put one up for pain in the ass, swapping the finger all the time? You can just put one span and do everything there. Yeah. When you get your joiner to do whatever it's done and your clad is done, yeah. screw that to there. Yeah. Yeah? It's just because I can take that. Today and now, and we know it's yeah. Are you happy with that day? Yeah, it's alright, yeah. <laughs> the bed's gonna go with you anyway, yeah. so. Are you having your electrics this side? Yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's better, really. My day consists of Shanzi and supervising. Is it in that box behind you? Yeah, it takes me out. Takes a fucking lot to pop that. Yeah. So what we need to do now is we need to hack them two into that yeah. to join to join them. Hey, do you reckon I get another one? I'll just use these for now. Wow. And once you yeah. um, see, see how it goes, yeah. See, that's a live wire we've just cut yeah. and it's done nothing. It's only if you let it touch. Metal. Yeah, right. So we're gonna go from there. You've got a couple of spare things there. Oh, and all this is connected in it, so that, that right. was that. So there's your. You bang that down there. Just give that a. Just the other thing. There we go. Try not to hit this end. You just need to hit that part in the centre. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't want to fucking hit it while you're. Yeah, I don't want to hit it. Yeah. In fact, what we'll do here, just give it a bit of tape. We'll tape it on first. <laughs> is it underneath you? Yeah, I've just been using it there then, like there, yeah. We'll tape it on first and then whack it so it's. And bang it, yeah. Yeah. So how much this fucking wood? Oh yeah, how much wood do you reckon I need then? Fucking lot. 25 square feet. I think he's showing about 25 square meters. He said square feet. Put it this way, see this piece of wood I'm sitting on there now? Yeah. Is 8 before. Yeah. So 8 foot by 4 foot. Yeah. What's 8 foot? What's 4 eights? Um, 8, 16, 24, 32. Well, that's 32 square foot. That one piece of wood on the floor. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm only doing that here. Yeah. yeah. There, both sides. And the roof. There, and the roof. Yeah, but there's 32 square foot in one piece of wood on the floor. That the fuck's 25, don't do the whole van. So that's alone, that's about two of them for the seat. Yeah. I'll just get that's 25 about 30 square feet. feet. That's about 65. I can just bounce that, can't I? I'm doing the roof first, though. Yeah, Annick. Give that a swap, man. Give that a swat. That's 
I'm an electrician now, Ken. Gonna put Spark on your CV. No dish. <laughs> Sparky. I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that shit. Right. I don't know why. Just... I've seen him beat get blown up before. I don't understand yeah. fucking why. All the time, huh? That's because you've never known what's, what parts what. Have Lace. you never blown up? Do I? You never blown up? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's not me. <laughs> 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 I'm wrong. I blew, blew like the lights in the car or something. If I've, if I've touched it by accident while I've been doing it, but I've knew. Yeah. I've got to go to the Aussie on Wednesday over Craig. <laughs> Oh, you're higher? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was called Craig a long time ago. Yeah, I was called Craig. It was your auntie, weren't it? My auntie named it as well. Craig, yeah. Funny that, and then we met Craig. Right, <laughs> mate, what's the bigger size over there, lad? Like? Oh, does that fit here, my chance? This one. Does that fit that one, does it? Yeah, man, let's see. Bless. So we're not going to be going too much in depth about this just because we're getting a lot of help and we're not Spark so we can't recommend it because at the end of the day electrics are dangerous as fuck. So yeah, um, that's the reason we just don't want anyone getting blown up and taking our advice. So we're not going to tell you what to do, we're just getting shown. We're giving it a little go because we want to put our input in everything and you know my input, drinking a shanzi and supervising mix is wiring a couple of bits and bobs together with our friends help so yeah. Yeah, you never want that. <laughs> you know, I, I, YouTube's gonna be fucking a lot of banging. banging. <laughs> I've just said that just there. I've just said, you know, I'll be drinking me candy. I'm mixing a lot of wire and banging. <laughs> so everything's all joined together now to split charge to our battery. And this is gonna, this is the best cheap version you'll get for a split charge, which powers all three of our batteries. And what we're doing is we're screwing this onto, screwing this onto, as you can see, look, touch that. Touch that and the power comes on. She's absolutely trashed the place. Any little washes? Well done, Ken. Well done. Is that the right way? It needs to go in, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the right way? Yeah. That's it. Nice. Do some spark there, lad. <laughs> Making moves, people. Making moves. Switchboard is on. This is going to be the light, the water pump, LEDs. So these solder shrink wraps, the, the Bernie thingies we call them, yeah? Basically, you put them together and solder them. And this wire runs all the way over to the yeah? And these would be like our USB leads. This one, LED light and lights and so on. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> What we've done here, people, is we've daisy chained all the wires for the lights to work. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. So what we're doing, people, we're putting the Bernie things. Um, don't even know what to call it for that. Shrink wraps. Yes, yeah, sh sh shrink wraps. The Bernie things, though, in it, Ken. She's still in the naughty corner. <laughs> Like a four year old. <laughs> and then do we burn it, yeah? Yeah, man. You just push them on and then push them all the way to the lead and then burn the lead. Oh, sorry, you burn everywhere. And then, as you can see, people, <laughs> it's yeah. done. What I make, right? You taught me well. I've been making um, wires all day and then found out we already had some. So we said thanks and goodbye to Craig as he connected the split charge up properly and he showed us how to do everything 12 volts. Okay, 
so we've done the electric wrong the other day. Don't really know how to do them to be fair, but my mate showed me this. So you put the red, twist it, yeah, and you put the red in to the lead here, and the same with the, the other side, the, the red, right? Like that, and then, and then we burn it, like so. And the lead in the middle puts it all together. So yeah, I think that's right. And then you just obviously put the tape around it. Chops are good. Okay, we've just had a little problem. My lights have gone a bit a lot dimmer. This has just been smoking. I knocked it the other day, so I think the wires are touching inside. Yeah, so yeah, here we go, smoking again. So we're gonna have to get that sorted. Oh bloody hell. See the smoke. So yeah, people, it's um I think the wires have absolutely melted here. So we're gonna have to um gonna have to get that sorted because that is not good at all. Good job it's happened now, eh? But I think it's my own fault for knocking this off and I think the wires might have been touching maybe. I'm not too sure. So we wired everything back up and it was all sound, the lights worked perfect, but I am a tit. Honest to God people, my confidence has absolutely grown with these electrics. Now what we're using is we're just using a uh, cable wires off an extension. If they're powerful enough to run 240, they're powerful enough to run a fan, stuff like that. So the yellow, um, I think, I'm not actually sure what that is. Okay, so this is the live, which is brown. The blue is the positive. Oh, I think the yellow's earth. I don't know. My confidence is good though. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test it, the fan. See if it works, yeah? If it blows up, we'll know about it. <laughs> okay, so we've got it in here. And you simply, you have both of the wires touching and then can you see the, the lead bit in the middle? You just literally, I shouldn't really do it like this. I should, uh, I'm just trying to show you. You just burn it like that. And as you can see, it melts everything together. It's as simple as that. And then do the same with this one. And yeah, cover them up with some tape. And then they'll go under the, the cladding in the ceiling. It's okay, I've connected it. There's the light and there's the, the um, positive. Let's go, let's see. There's both people. It's opening. There you go. Speed. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic. I'm happy with that. What I've done here is I've tried to get this wire. It's going to be on the ceiling, but it goes down here. And it's going to be, it's not painted properly this year, but it's going to be for the bedroom lights. So I'm just wiring that together now. Right, I'm, I'm just testing it now. All these wires aren't done properly here. We never had the right size to fit around here. So we've got to sort it properly. So just ignore it. But I'm just testing this now. I put live and positive. So we just get it. And where is it? Here we go. We put the, the live in here and just touch, let's see. There you go. So we know that's we know that's good now. And there we have it, people. See how many holes I drilled to try and get the wires through. One, two, three. Because it was going through this way at first. <laughs> oh, and I snapped the cladding. You know, where is it? It's up here somewhere. Them lights are going in here now. We're gonna have three going down and two at the end. We think keep changing our bloody minds. Yes, people. It's been like six weeks since we've done the electrics. We've just been up the wall, so I know the video's not the best, but you know, still a video. Let me just show you here. So this is the switchboard. See if I can get it in focus. This is for the USB socket. This is for the light. And this is the, the power socket to turn it all off. Um, this is going to be the water pump, and this is going to be them LEDs, which is going under here and under the kitchen unit. But as you can see, the LED lights are on. They're all on. There's one in the back as well so basically this wire is running to the main battery which i'll take you to now and it's obviously on the positive on the earth 
and everything just runs from this. Now, the split charge runs from the engine battery, which is under the driver's seat, right the way through to the batteries, and that keeps all the batteries topped up. Let me take you to the garage, and I'll try and explain the best I can. Yo. Also, people, this is going to be up here. All the wires will be behind here. And we've got, we're going to put like a little white box. Well, a little box and paint it. So that'll be there. We've also got the diesel heater installed. We never done a video for the diesel heater. We was up the wall. We never had no cameras on and, and our friend helped us with that. So sorry about that one. But let's go to these batteries. Right, it's a bit dark. Sorry, people. So I'll try and do this the best I can. But obviously, we made the box for it. But here's all the batteries, all connected to the split charge. And what we've got over here is a co a cohere it's called i put it in i put it in the description what it is but it's basically a fuse box as you can see here we've got another usb charger and basically always what you're doing on this this is what we're wiring everything up to basically you take that off and you put your positive to one of these and you put your earth to these or on here and you just put a fuse in it pull a fuse in and that's as simple as that and you wire it up to like your usbs or any anything watch 12 volts so yeah that's our um, that's our electric system and obviously here's the split charge it's all done now straight from the engine battery straight to this and this charges all these yes people just got our mattress on there I've just had to cut it down and stuff but yeah i just want to say uh, a big thanks for watching and i know this video is a bit late the electric try to explain as much as we can so hopefully it's helped someone out there but thanks for watching and if you like our content like subscribe like subscribe and press the notifications button so you never miss an episode yo